Hey, Clear Lake peeps. Ross England here with Clear Lake Guide Service with your report, your weekly report of what's going on out here, conditions, and all that kind of nonsense. So, as you can see, this afternoon turned into a gorgeous day. Still a little windy down below, but up here on the upper end where I stopped out in the middle of nowhere. Looks pretty nice, doesn't it? Sorry you're not here. Except for the fishing part. Alright, let's run through this real quick. Lake level. You know, we were supposed to get about an inch and a quarter of rain yesterday. Between Monday, uh, Sunday night, Monday, Tuesday mor early Tuesday morning. To the best that I can see, we got about nine-tenths of an inch in Kelseyville. There probably were some other areas that got a little bit more, but there also were some areas that got a little bit less. So what's that, what that translated in uh, as far as water level on the lake? No change. Virtually the same. Uh, when I checked this morning, we're at about negative 1.4 two or four three something like that virtually the same as it was last week so no change and then you look at this gorgeous weather and while you love it what's supposed to be happening is storms coming through and it doesn't look like we've got anything coming in the next week and a half so things can change but that's that's the uh, water level fifth street launch ramp where I launched today was fine it was in good shape very little use uh, I know that they're still using Clear Lake Oaks. I just got word today from a guy I ran into out on the water that the Clear Lake Riviera launch ramp is open. Uh, they're apparently charging, and don't quote me on this, this is what he snapped off the top of his head, uh, 10 bucks a launch. Supposedly the launch ramp was good, it was level, it was easy, so you can uh, Especially if you live over in the Riviera, anywhere on that south side, you might consider using that if you don't mind paying the 10 bucks. A good ramp without having to run, you know, all over the lake. I mean, it's it's nice being able to launch at Fifth Street. It's a really good ramp, good parking. Never ran into any problems there. But the problem is I'm running the entire <laughs> lake trying to catch fish, so there's a lot of running around. Water clarity, it's. And it's no better than last week's report. It's just crappy looking. It's it's brown. It's uh, maybe you could see a foot. You know the fish that I caught today. I could see them. You know, just within about a foot of the surface. But up until then, I couldn't see anything. The uh, the algae and all the surface stuff, I didn't run into any of that today. So I think that's pretty much gone. Water temperature is uh, a lot cooler than last week. When I launched at 5th Street this morning, it was 50, I'm gonna call it 57. The last spot I fished this afternoon, it was 58 and a half, 58, seven, somewhere in that range. So you figure anywhere between 56, 58, and a half, 56 and 59 degrees, somewhere in that range. And that was pretty consistent from Lakeport all the way down towards Canoctai Bay, Wheeler, back around uh, in the main, main part of the Narrows as well. So pretty good drop in temperature from the previous week, but it's still, you know what, it's still good temperature for fish and for fishing for bass. Uh, you know, the little storm that came, I'm gonna, I'm gonna blame my success or lack of it just on the um, fish in the day after a storm, but we'll talk about that later. Okay, so we've got water level, we've got water conditions as usual. I'm out in the middle of the lake and a plane flying, finds me. Hang on. Unbelievable. <laughs> 
Okay, so we talked about clarity, temperature, lake level. Um, activities for this upcoming weekend. There was a permit pulled a while back for ABA for Saturday and Sunday. Um, I looked a couple times this week and I do believe that they moved that event and or rescheduled it. So I don't see anything coming up this coming weekend. It looks like a free weekend. So with the weather forecast that we've got coming forward, I think it's gonna be a good weekend. I think there'll be a lot of boats out unless there's something going on somewhere else that you know, is taking traffic away. Uh, fishing, I know everybody wants to hear about crappie fishing. Um, just gonna tell you, I, I'm not seeing anybody fishing for them and the places that I know, know to normally go look for them, I'm not seeing them. So I don't think that's happening. You know, it's, it's still a little bit early. It's usually something that really busts loose pretty good around Thanksgiving, but we'll see. Catfishing. I know that there's one guy who posts on Facebook quite often, and he's been catching fish off the shore, so he's been doing pretty well. I tried a little bit today, spooning in a couple of areas, and I, again, second time I've tried it, second time I haven't caught a fish. So, so much for that. Bass fishing. I actually saw somebody catch a fish today, a decent fish, so that was a good thing. That was encouraging. Up until that point in the day, I, I had not even been in range of where I could see any boats. So caught a decent fish. It was, according to them, it was between five and five and a half. So it was a nice fish. Um, I got off my little skunk streak and caught some fish today. Uh, one on a shaky head, the others on um, under, an underspin. I just finally gave up and just put the worm down and said, I'm just going to start going down banks and start throwing that stinking underspin. And finally started getting bit. Now, you know, that's a fun bite, man. You're just reeling along and all of a sudden it just goes, punk. It's like, oh, yeah, I know what that's all about. Thank you. Um, the fish that I caught for what it's worth 17, 18, 19 feet so I couldn't seem to get bit shallower and I didn't seem to get bit deeper I saw fish deeper I saw fish out in 28 feet of water but couldn't get them to bite so that is my report I think it's going to be a good weekend weather wise so regardless of how the bite is I would get out and take advantage of it because the you know this doesn't last forever so um, I think that's it so we'll catch you next week I'm just gonna forewarn you there's gonna be in you know December's probably gonna be a pretty light month for me as far as um, posting videos there's not a whole lot of people fishing up here anyway during that time but you know I'll do what I can do but we'll see so try to get through Thanksgiving and then after that who knows? Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And we'll definitely see you next week.